Hello viewers, in this video we will see how we can express a given signal x of t in terms of g of t in signal sense systems. So this is the plot for x of t and this one is the plot for uh, g of t. We have to express this signal x of t in terms of g of t. So one of the easiest method in which we can uh, try to solve this problem is if I compare these two signals, uh, the highest possible amplitude of your g of t signal is 1. maximum possible amplitude of this g of t signal is 1 the maximum amplitude of this x of t signal is equal to 3 so 1 2 and 3 so from here this signals between minus 4 to minus 3 and 3 to 4 it is having an amplitude of 1 uh, then minus 3 to minus 1 as well as 1 to 3 is having an amplitude of 2 and from minus 1 to 1 it is having an amplitude of 3 so the maximum possible amplitude in this case is 3. So if I compare these two signals, in order to get an amplitude of 3, I have to add this g of t signal thrice. That is g1 of t, g2 of t and g3 of t. So this will be your uh, final uh, equation what you want for x of t x of t can be obtained by adding g1 of t, g2 of t and g3 of t because its amplitude is 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be equal to 3. So let us see how we can try to plot this graph. Uh, so first and foremost thing is I came to know that I want 3 g of t signals because the maximum possible amplitude of g of t is 1. So to get an amplitude 3 which is maximum for x of t signal I have to add this signal thrice. So now let me just take the curve in terms of g1 of t where I will be defining the time scale exactly similar to the uh, x of t signal. So it is uh, from minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, then 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, I will be having a G2 of T signal. So, I will have signal G2 of T. Again, it is having minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, then 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this x-axis is with reference to t. So, one more signal I want which will be expressed in terms of uh, say g3 of t. So, this is the signal g3 of t. Again, I will be defining the time scale as that of your uh, x of t signal minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, then this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and finally this is now, let us start comparing with the original plot of x of t signal. So, from uh, x of t plot, if you check it out, so in case of uh, x of t, from minus 4 to 3, it is having an amplitude of 1. So, I want uh, uh, one particular g of t signal, that is I will choose it to be a g1 of t signal. So, from minus 4 to minus 3 it is having an amplitude of 1 only it is having an amplitude of 1 so it is 1 plus 0 plus 0 for the remaining two signals I will consider it as 0 then in between the range of say minus 3 to minus 3 to minus 1 it is having an amplitude of so, 2 g of t signal I need. So, I will assume g1 of t and g2 of t. Minus 3 to 2, minus 2, it is having an amplitude of 2. So, this is 1. Sorry, minus 3 to minus 1, it is having an amplitude of uh, 2. So, from minus 3 to minus 1, this is having an amplitude of 1. This is having an amplitude of 1. So, 1 plus 1, it is equal to 2. So, the third signal will be 0 from minus 3 to minus 1 it will be 0. Next, so it will have the same amplitude from minus 1 to 1 it is 3. 
so all the three signals to uh, has to work for that so minus 1 to 1 it is having an amplitude of 3 so this is having 1 plus 1 which is 2 and then finally it is also having from minus 1 to plus 1 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is equal to 3 next if it goes further so further for the right hand side from 1 to 3 so from 1 to 3 it is having an amplitude of 2 so only 2 g of t signals uh, so what I will minor from minor from minor from plus 1 to 3 it is having an amplitude of 2 1 to 3 1 again for g of 2 also I will take the amplitude as 1 so now from 1 to 3 it is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and from 1 to 3 g 3 of t signal I will take it as 0 because only amplitude I need is 2 so from 1 to 3 it is 0 now next from 3 to 4 if I compare it with the original signal from 3 to 4 it is having an amplitude of 1 so I need only 1 g of t signal which I will assume it as g1 of t so from 3 to 4 it is 1 and then it will stop there so all other signals g2 of t and g3 of t will be 0 so that I will be getting in total from 3 to 4 as 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is equal to 1. So these are the plots which I will obtain for g1 of t, g2 of t and g3 of t. Next thing is I have to express it in terms of g of t signal. So what we have to do is we have to consider a standardized expression. So that standardized expression will be in terms of two operation one is time shift operation another one is time scaling operation so what is that equation so i can express g1 of t as equal to g of a t minus b this t minus b stands for time shift operation a t minus b stands for time scaling operation so in this particular equation i need to find out the constant terms a as well as b I need to determine what is the value of A and what is the value of B. Depending upon that, I can express each and every individual signal in terms of G of T signals. So, in order to compute the constant A, this is a universal uh, uh, equation which holds good for any sort of problem given in terms of expressing an X of T signal in terms of G of T. So, in order to compute the constant A, I will be using the equation like width of given signal g of t divided by width of the required signal g1 of t. Similarly, for g2 of t, it will be width of given signal g of t divided by width of required signal g2 of t. For g3 of t, it will be width of given signal g of t divided by width of required signal g1 of t. So, now what is the width of the given signal g of t? So, from minus 1 to 0, it is 1 unit. From 0 to 1, it is 1, 1. It is equal to 2, equal to 2. So, width of the given signal g of t is 2. Width of the required signal g1 of t is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 2 divided by 8 which becomes equal to 1 by 4. So, this is the value of the constant A. Similarly, I need to call, uh, calculate what will be the value of the constant B. So, in order to calculate the value of the constant B, I will consider values, arbitrary values, A T minus B as well as T. So, A T minus b at t is equal to the center point of this g1 of t signal. So, what is the center most point of this g1 of t signal? It is equal to a value of 0. So, a t minus b at t is equal to 0 is equal to t at this particular signal center point. The center point of this signal is minus 1 to 0 to 1 means it is also 0. So, at t value equal to the center point that is also equal to 0. 
So a t minus b when t becomes equal to 0 a into t becomes equal to 0. So it is nothing but minus b equal to 0 or b value equal to 0. So now the constant value a is 1 by 4 constant value b is 0. Just substitute in this equation so that you will get to know what is g1 of t. So g1 of t will be equal to g of a into t that is 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 into t minus b is 0 so it is nothing but g of 1 by 4 t minus 0 so I have skipped that 0 so your expression for g1 of t is equal to g of 1 by 4 into t. Similarly we will find out what will be the expression for g2 of t. So I can further write the value of g2 of t is equal to g of a t minus b where a is equal to the width of the given signal once again given signal is in terms of g of t so it is given signal g of t divided by the width of the required signal the required signal is nothing but now g2 of so, value of A will be equal to width of given signal is not going to change anyways. Width of given signal is 2. So, how to calculate I have shown you in the previous calculation. So, this is the width of the given signal. So, it is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So, width of the given signal will remain same for uh, all the three cases. So, this is A is equal to A is equal to 2 divided by width of the required signal so it is so it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so it is 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 divided by 3 next in order to calculate the constant value b i have arbitrary where the arbitrary values a t minus b at t is equal to center point of this g2 of t signal so center point of this g2 of uh, t signal is 0 itself so from here also it is having three values minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 right side also it is having 1 2 and 3 so the center value is center point is 0 so at t is equal to 0 is equal to uh, the given signal will be same fixed so it is t and the center point of the signal is at 0 so t at t is equal to 0 t at t is equal to 0. So, this implies a into 0 minus b that is minus b is equal to t is equal to 0 if I substitute b value becomes equal to 0. So, the constant values a is equal to 1 by 3 and b is equal to 0. If I substitute it in this particular main equation of g2 of t then I can write g2 of t is equal to g of a into t that is 1 by 3 into t minus b minus 0 which is equal to this particular value. So, g2 of t can be expressed as g of 1 by 3 into t. Similarly, we can find out the expression uh, for the value of g3 of t. So, how I can express g3 of t is g3 of t is equal to g3 of t is equal to g of a t minus b where your a value is equal to width of the given signal which is not going to change once again given signal is in terms of g of t divided by width of the required signal width of the required signal so the required signal is now g3 of t so this is g what is the value so, what is the value of it is the value of a width of the given signal g of t will remain same that is 2 itself this is 2 divided by the required signal width is 1 plus 1 this is also equal to 2 which is equal to 1. In order to calculate the value of uh, b I have to consider these arbitrary terms a t minus b at t is equal to the center point of this g3 of t signal which is nothing but 0 is equal to t at center point of the given signal at t is equal to uh, 0 itself center point of the original signal g of t is 
0. So, if I equate this, this is 0 minus b which is minus b equal to 0 or b value is equal to 0. Just substitute. So, if you just substitute it in the main equation of g3 of t, so g3 g3 of t can be written can be written as equal to g of a into t that is 1 into t minus b that is 0. So, this is the required equation for g3 of t. So, finally, you can express x of t signal as equal to g1 of t plus g2 of t plus g3 of t where you are g1 of t was equal to g of 1 by 4 t plus g2 of t is g of 1 by 3 t and g3 of t is equal to g of t. So, this is the final expression for x of t in terms of g of t. Hope you found this uh, video useful. Thank you for watching.